What's going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Investments with Justin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Salesforce stock ticker symbol CRM and this is a company that's had some major news come out recently with the inclusion into the Dow 30 and the first thing I'm going to cover in today's video is what they actually do and what their recent inclusion in the Dow 30 actually means for this stock then I'm going to be covering the financials from this most recent quarter and I'm going to be ending the video with what my personal thoughts are on this company and what growth I see moving forward. So if you guys like content like this, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does support the YouTube channel in a massive way. And I can't say thank you enough for those of you that have been supporting the channel. So with that being said, guys, let's jump right into today's video. So basically Salesforce is a software as a service company that provides small and large businesses with customer relationship management or CRM applications that help them manage sales, customer service, and marketing. Now Salesforce has actually been the number one CRM platform in the world by revenue for seven consecutive years, bringing in over $17 billion as they've consistently grown by double digits each and every year. Now looking at their stock performance over the last six months, we can see that they are currently trading at about $240 a share. And this is after a monster gain of almost 13% after hours at the time of this recording on Tuesday. Now this has put them at a market cap of just under $200 billion. So they're definitely up significantly, but at the same time have not seen the recent rise other stocks in the market have gone through. Now, if we look at the portfolio of products they offer, we can see that they provide businesses with a solution to almost anything they could ever need when it comes to growing the business and managing employees and customers. And it really does show that their products are great when you have strategic partners like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon that all want to work with you. And real quickly, before we move on to the next section of this video, I do wanna cover the recent news that came out regarding Salesforce's inclusion to the Dow 30. Now, this is definitely big news for the stock because this kind of solidifies their position as a blue chip stock and really validates the company from a reputation standpoint. Not that they didn't already have a good reputation, but for investors, this really makes them more of a household name. And then of course, you also have the big money from institutions that buy the DIA ETF that tracks the Dow. So all in all, I mean, there's not really a downside to this. It's really all good news, but it's important for investors to understand that this doesn't change the fundamentals of the company in any way. So now that I've covered the basics of the company, what I'm gonna do now is switch over to the juicy financials that this company reported on Tuesday. So looking at their Q2 revenue, they earned more than $5 billion this quarter, and this translated to growth of 29% year over year. Now, if we look at their net income for the quarter, we can see that they reported a gap diluted earnings per share of $2.85. And with 901 million shares outstanding, this puts them at just over $2.5 billion in profit over the course of the second quarter. So they are obviously already a profitable company, but if we look at their balance sheet, they reported in the most recent quarter, a cash balance of $9.3 billion, which is actually a significant improvement of over 50% year over year. And when you look at their liabilities, it's really not as bad as it looks at first glance. They have no current debt, which is always a good thing. And I know it says almost $11 billion in deferred revenues under the current liability section, but for a SaaS company, also known as a software as a service company, this isn't really a true liability to me because deferred revenue is just advanced payments a company receives for products or services that are to be delivered or performed in the future, which in this case is the next 12 months. And for SaaS companies, this requires significantly less overhead expenses for things like factory workers or production lines that traditional companies need to deliver the service. And the reason it's so high for Salesforce is because a lot of the customers they have are on yearly subscriptions. So they pay for 12 months of service, but at the start of each contract, the remainder of the contract term still technically needs to be delivered. And that's why they have deferred revenues of $11 billion. So they definitely have more than enough cash to sustain double digit growth for the foreseeable future, considering that they have a fraction of their cash in debt. So what I'm gonna do now is switch over to where I see potential growth for the company and what this could mean for their stock price. 
So when looking at the market share that Salesforce has in the customer relationship management industry, it's clear as day that they're the leader in this market and will continue to grow that market share. We can see that dating back to 2015, competitors like Microsoft and Oracle have continued to lose market share while Salesforce has been consistently growing and now has 18.4% market share in an industry that's projected to be worth over $176 billion by the end of 2024. Now to put that in perspective, let's assume that they can get to 20% market share and that they stay there for the next five years. Then you take that 20% and you multiply that by the total addressable market and you get 2024 revenue of over $35 billion, which would correlate to a compounded annual growth rate of 20% if you take an even 100% growth over the next five years. So there is clearly potential for them to significantly grow revenue in the near future. And if we look at their revenue growth by region, they saw strong growth of 28% year over year in the Americas bringing in $3.6 billion in revenue. But the area I really want to focus on is the Europe, Middle East and Africa region, because here they saw growth of 36% with revenue of just over $1 billion. Now when you're making over $17 billion in revenue, it gets harder and harder to continue growing at double digits. So to do this, they need to be able to grow in the markets they've already penetrated. So to me, there is clearly more room for growth in this region that can really help add to their market cap. So that's really an overview of the company and the recent news that has come out. Now, in my opinion, I'm not really looking to buy this stock because I already am tech heavy and they also have seen a pretty significant rise in literally just the past day or so. And that's why I'll really be sitting on the sidelines for this one, but be sure to let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on Salesforce and whether or not you may already have a position or you're looking to start one, I'd really be interested to know what your thoughts are. And with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does help the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys on the next one.